Hello and welcome to another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review. In each one of these special one-off videos, we're going to look back on each one of the senior players who pulled on the mighty blue and white this season. We're going to scrutinise their effort and grade their overall performance. And in this episode, we're going to review Dara Lenahan. <laughs> This lad was a major concern for me throughout the season as I know his qualities and I know he has potential to be a massive player in the English game. Why the concern? Well, the pre-season there was much talk of Lenehan leaving to join Championship Club with Sheffield United sniffing around with a few bids. However, that move never happened and the reason it didn't could be the fact that Lenehan picked up a serious injury that ruled him out until the start of 2018. However, that just delayed more concern as with his impending return from injury also coincided with the return of the transfer window and again the report surfaced of increased interest. Fortunately, Lenahan stayed and what a player he turned out to be. Fresh from his recovery and right back into defence, it was like we had a new player and a decent one. The hunger was there once again, the passion like never before, the warrior had returned. I am so excited about this player you will not believe it. If we can keep him at Rovers, he has the makings of an excellent captain. Mulgrew won't go anywhere anytime soon, but with these two at the back, a great partnership will grow and Lenahan can learn from his Jedi Master in the process. Solid performance after solid performance by Lenahan continued. Some hard tackles kept flying in. Without his return, I feel we could have lost more games than we did. He looked fresh and full of ideas at the back, and I love seeing his name on the team sheet. I'm looking forward to seeing a full season with Lenahan at the back next year. Season rating? A solid B. Let's take a look now at Daryl Lenahan's statistics for the season and uh, like in previous reviews this is a, a combined overview so any uh, games he's played throughout the season in all competitions so he is involved in 15 matches this season scoring one goal and that was that bullet header up against Oxford he was involved in six clean sheets however what in those 15 matches actually let in nine goals which averages, averages around about 0.6 goals per match. Um, however, when you look at the other side of the statistics, it actually averages to around about 127 minutes per goal conceded. Um, he played in 85% uh, of all possible minutes that he was available, you know, fully fit and not suspended. Uh, he's got four yellow cards for those 15 matches and he substituted on one time and substituted off one time. As for League One statistics only, he was involved in 14 games, nine wins, three draws and two defeats. He actually scored just the one goal this season, which equals about 0.07 goals per game. All in all this season, he was involved in uh, 1,143 minutes of first team football. And his last five matches looked like this, three wins, a defeat and a draw. So uh, when you look back on all his, uh, uh, pretty much the whole season, uh, he actually suffered one defeat in 13 games, but uh, again, this statistic really winds me up. Doesn't really, doesn't really showcase anything. It's actually two, uh, one defeat in two games. Uh, he's actually scored in seven percent of all games he scored in. Well, again, that's just the one goal. Four game winning streak. He was involved in two games without a win. He was also involved in a one game losing streak, uh, which is not really a streak. It's just one defeat. Um, he was involved in an eleven games uh, streak without a loss, and he scored in that one game. But it was also involved in 13 games without a goal. And these statistics are a little bit weird for defenders because obviously they're not really involved with goals that much unless you are Captain Charlie Mulgrew. Well, that's your lot, folks. If you've enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And also, you can join me right back here tomorrow for yet another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review.